Hello gamers, and welcome to our continued look at classic Atari arcade games from Atari Vault. Today we're looking at a venerable classic, Centipede. Centipede was developed by Ed Logg and Donna Bailey. Ed Logg, as you know, is the co-developer for Asteroids. He would also later go on to work on the develop the Gauntlet series, and he would also be behind the San Francisco Rush series. Donna Bailey is has the distinction of being the first female known to work in the video game industry. She was originally a assembler program for GM, and she went to work for Atari because she found out that the the cruise control systems and Atari's coin ops were using the exact same MOS 6502 processor. So she went to go to work for them and one of the first games that she worked on was Centipede. So we're gonna get a look at some arcade history here. Centipede was also incidentally one of the first arcade games that really appealed to female gamers. The other video game that had that distinction was Miss Pac-Man. So let's have a look at this venerable classic, Centipede. Here we are in Atari Vault, and you can see what the Centipede cabinet looked like, the artwork on the side, and the controls. This one is controlled by a trackball. And I'm using my handy dandy steam controller here to emulate that. Before we go into the game, let's take a look at the gallery to see what artwork there is. And this is a little plushie that was sent out as promotional material for the arcade game. There's the cabinet again, the venerable cabinet. I saw this everywhere. Just about every arcade I've ever been to had at least one of these. Um, really, this is one of the name, one of the mainstays of arcades really can't have an arcade unless you've got a centipede machine. Some of the artwork from the side. Again, another uh, patch. Uh, this is your patch or pin. Uh, part of the promotional material for the game. This is definitely a pin. Again, more Atari promotional material. This one was heavily marketed. Maybe one of the reasons why it was so popular with the uh, women gamers. This is a flyer that was sent out where you can see the various console designs. The full console, the smaller console, and the cocktail table version. I've never seen the cocktail table version. In fact, the only version I've ever seen is the full-size console. I've never seen the smaller version. Um, you would have seen that in some places like restaurants and things. You would have seen these in restaurants and bars. I've never seen the cocktail version. I've never seen the smaller version. I have only ever seen this one in arcades. Uh, I know that a lot of restaurants would have had these smaller ones. This is back in the 80s when places like that actually did have arcade games in them. More the flyer here that explains a lot of the game scoring system more promotional material here's more that shows some uh, visuals of the game itself what the game looks like and also the cabinets again and some more promotional material I believe this was a uh, from a t-shirt uh, they actually had t-shirts then. Um, this may have also been from a poster, possibly. But this looks more like fabric, so it could be uh, a t-shirt. We're back to the plushie again. So let's actually get into the game. They have some centipede. Now, I've never been that particularly good at this game, but let's see how I do. Alright, let's get the spider. 
what do you think that Donna Bailey wanted to do to make the game appeal to uh, women gamers was to use more pastel colors. And this game certainly does do that. Oh, oh. get faster when you... Oh, the flea! I missed the flea! Oh, got him. And the center. Ah! I always get hit by the spider! I'm actually doing a lot better than this than I used it in the arcade. Oh, I finally got the flea! Flea actually gets you a little. Uh oh. Letting them get down here. I'm letting them. Ah! Uh, oh, that's not a good. Ah! Spider out of there. The spider's annoying. Ooh. Oh. I didn't even make it to the high score. Jeez. I got some of these mushrooms out of the way. Concentrating on the centipede enough. Got him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Die, 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 die. Come on. doing not too bad. Oh, 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 come on. Wow. Come on. Ah. Oh! Ooh, a scorpion! Oh, I got him! Oh, I didn't see the spider. I still didn't get a high score. Wow! Oh, you know, there, are, there were competitions to try and get high scores in this game. But you had to get to a certain amount in order to get a big bonus. Whoa. Alright, one more time.
Oh, that would have been a perfect way to hit him. Come on. Ooh, really fast! Oh. You just see that? Oh. Oh, got him. I am actually doing better at this. I'm actually doing better at this on my Steam controller than I did in the arcade. Seriously. I am doing way, way better. Arr! Well, usually. Come on. Oh, yes. Yes. Ah. Alrighty then. And that was Atari Centipede, the first game that really started bringing women into the arcades, big time. Now, the other game, as I said, that was very appealing to women gamers was Miss Pac-Man. Not that women weren't coming to the arcade before, but Centipede really attracted a large female following. Much of that is probably due to the, the, the aesthetic of the game and how it was designed, and also the fact that you know it was developed by co-developed by one of the first women in video game in the video game industry. So that was Centipede. Now the next game we're going to be taking a look at is one I've never played in the arcade. I played on the Atari 2600. In fact, it's one of my favorite games on the Atari 2600. That is Crystal Castles. So, look forward to it, and I'll see you next time.